fresh and hot chocolate chip sourdough banana bread out of the oven for breakfast and then throwing some laundry into the washing machine starts off my morning as a mom, wife, and homemaker today. Good morning everybody. It is a beautiful spring day and I am bringing you along today as we do some more seasonal homemaking because we're going to be outside quite a bit today doing some gardening, planting some things, putting up a new arbor hopefully. But right now we are going to be headed out to go see a friend for a little bit. Um, a friend I used to teach with actually. So we'll be gone for a short bit this morning but then it's going to be some outside fun playtime, fun garden time for me. So I did the front load heavy of getting a little bit of cleaning done here this morning, my stretches, get some laundry going, and just get that those little things done. That way we can have some time outside today. Back home, I got my shorts changed because I was wearing a white linen short and time to go out and do a little gardening. The beauty of seasonal homemaking in each new season is it brings about a change and change is so wonderful as a homemaker. There's always something new to do like planting your garden and getting things ready for growth and life and nurturing those things which is what I enjoy doing this time of year. Gardening is so life-giving. It can bring you joy to watch those plants grow from seed to produce and I love love being able to have my daughters out with me as well to see what it is like to have a labor of love, literally labor, because it can be strenuous, but that is part of homemaking. We work for things that we enjoy and that we love because we want to provide for our families in that way and being examples as well as in showing where food comes from and where beauty comes from. It also is a seasonal thing to go to the park when it is such a beautiful day. Taking my daughters to the park for a pre-lunch little break. So it is nap time. We ended up going to the park right before lunch, just having a little fun time there. And then we got lunch all cleaned up. Um, and while girls are waiting to fall asleep, I'm gonna stay inside and do just a little bit of home maintenance and cleaning up. There's just some dust I see lying around. And so while I wait for my oldest to fall asleep before I go back outside, then I'm going to do some of that. So when you have littles, I have learned to take outdoor projects in little spurts. And I just take my baby monitor out and I can hear it in our um, area in the back. So it works really well to do that. But I'm just gonna do a little like wiping down of our window sills because we've had the windows open wipe just up high because cobwebs it's that time of year where every bug likes to come out and so it's just time to do a little home maintenance and maintain the home as best i can in this little time before the girls fall asleep before i go do a little more outside project stated just getting some cleaning done during a few minutes of time is so good to do as a homemaker it it is so satisfying to get some of those inside things done that way you have time to enjoy the outdoors and do that seasonal task and seasonal enjoyment of gardening and you can't forget to pick the beautiful flowers like lilacs that are blooming and enjoy those in your home too
Well, after some gardening, I took a short little nap actually while the girls finished up their nap, folded some laundry, and now we're gonna go for a little walk because it's beautiful. It's a bit breezy, but it helps keep the bugs away and the heat at bay a little bit too. Have you seen Avea, how these flowers are about ready to bloom right here? See, they're very close and they got ants all over them. <laughs> So we had to snag some lilacs from some neighbors. I have several, whoa, in the house already. So they just do not last cut very long, but just beautiful while you can enjoy them. Here's our pancakes with some add-ins, chocolate chips, bananas, some plain and then our homemade bacon or my homemade bacon that I cured so it's starting to look like an arbor and an arch and I got my little helper I haven't put it together at all <laughs> so I got my two helpers I should say all right we're gonna put it right over here so the plan is to have this climbing rose bush go here and maybe next year I'll have to expand that garden but Another six foot? yeah it'll have to be when you want this. well it would more? stick yeah it would have to stick in here yeah those yeah. are some plans yeah that would be how it works so here is my arch I'm really excited to have found this one and I'll put a link in the description box for you if you're interested in getting this. I was talking to my husband that I'm going to expand it just about where the hose is at, expand my garden. That way I can have something else climbing up that side. I'll take the rocks out there too so they're not a tripping hazard and move those over probably on the other side of the rows there. But this climbing rose will be beautiful hopefully in a few years growing up that side leading back to my <coughs> other garden there and then the other garden behind our garden shed and our aquaponics system back there so kind of fun to have something like a gateway to a beautiful place i hope you can enjoy your seasonal homemaking this spring and that you can get out and do some outdoor activities whether it's gardening taking your kids to a park or just sitting and taking in all the beauty around you